Hello everyone, today we are going to design an axially loaded rectangular column. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a rectangular column of 3 meter unsupported length. The unsupported length is given as 3 meter. We can convert that into millimeter. Restrained in position and direction at both the ends to carry an axial load of 2000 kN. The load P is given as 2000 kN. Use M20 concrete and FE 415 steel. FCK is given as 20 and FI is given as 415. Now let us find the effective length. In the question it is given that the column is restrained in position and direction at both the ends. Let us open this code book page number 94. We have to select the first condition effectively held in position and restrained against rotation at both the ends. The formula to find the effective length is 0 0.65 L 0 0.65 into 3000 we will get 1950 millimeter. Now let us find the factored load. The formula is 1.5 P 1.5 into 2000 we will get 3000 kN. Now we are going to find the area of the steel and we are going to find the dimensions. To find the area we can use this formula but to use this formula the minimum eccentricity should not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimensions. In the question the lateral dimensions are not given. In this case let us assume that the minimum eccentricity does not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimensions. Let us open this code book page number 48. This clause states that the cross-sectional area of longitudinal reinforcement shall be not less than 0.8% and not more than 6% of the gross cross-sectional area. So we have to keep AAC between 0.8 to 6%. Let us provide one percentage of steel. So area of the steel will be 1 upon 100 into gross area so that we will get 0 0.01 AG. The gross area will be equal to area of the concrete plus area of the steel. From this we will get AC is equal to AG minus ASC. So for AC we will get 0 0.99 AG. In this formula, let us apply all of the values so that we will get the gross area. We know that ASC is equal to 0.01 AG. For ASC, we will get 2803.6 mm square. We know the formula for the area of a rectangle B into D. Let us equate BD to the gross area. Let us keep B as 0.8 D. So instead of B, we can apply 0.8D. In this way for D, we will get 592 mm. Let us round that to 600 mm. We know that BD is equal to the gross area. So B will be the gross area upon 600. In this way for B, we will get this. We can round that to 500 mm. Now let us check if the column is short or slender. Let us open this code book page number 41. We know that the slenderness ratios should be less than 12 so that the column will be short. In our case LEX and LEY will be equal to the effective length LE which is 2925 mm. LE upon D we will get 3.25 which is less than 12. LE upon B we will get 3.9 which is also less than 12 so it is a short column now we are going to find whether the column is actually loaded for that we have to find the minimum eccentricity let us open this code book page number 42 all columns shall be designed for minimum eccentricity equal to the unsupported length of the column upon 500 plus lateral dimensions upon 30 subject to a minimum of 20 when we calculate this we will get 26 
from these two we have to select the maximum value 26 is maximum so ex minimum is 26 millimeter when we calculate this we will get a 22.66 which is more than 20 from these two we have to select the maximum one 22.66 is the maximum one now in this code book let us open the page number 71 the minimum eccentricity as per 25.4 should not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimensions 0 0.05 into d we will get 30 and 0 0.05 into b we will get 25 so the minimum eccentricities do not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimensions so this column is an actually loaded column let us proceed with these dimensions so let us provide a rectangular column of size 600 millimeter into 500 millimeter for ASC we have got this area now we can use a trial and error method I have used six number of 25 millimeter diameter bars so that I am getting an area approximately equal and a little more than this area so let us provide six numbers of 25 millimeter diameter bars you can try with the different numbers and different diameters but it should be according to the conditions let us open this code book page number 48 the minimum number of longitudinal bars provided in a column shall be 4 in rectangular columns here we have provided 6 numbers more than 4 so we are safe the bars shall not be less than 12 millimeter in diameter our diameter is 25 so here also we are safe now let us design the diameter of lateral ties let us open this code book page number 49 the diameter of the lateral ties shall be not less than one fourth of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar and in no case less than 6 millimeter so the diameter of the lateral ties should not be less than these two in this case let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 millimeter now let us design the pitch the pitch of the transverse reinforcement shall be not more than the least of the following distances the least lateral dimension of the compression member the size of the column is 600 into 500 the least one is 500 millimeter 16 times the smallest diameter of the longitudinal reinforcement and finally 300 millimeter from these three we have to select the minimum one 300 millimeter is the minimum one so let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 millimeter at the spacing of 300 millimeter center to center here you can see the cross section with the reinforcement details let us keep the clear cover as 40 millimeter for these two bars we can provide open ties now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video